Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, Project Fat here um, with the MBL Network. Um, so I know you guys have already watched uh, both of DK's videos. Most of you guys have. Um, but I'm coming to you real quick. I'm going to bring you guys a couple different things that uh, DK didn't really touch on uh, too much or he didn't go very in-depth with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and touch on those uh, few things real quick. Uh, but I once again, you know, want to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, truly appreciate it. Um, so here we go. First thing we're going to touch on is uh, the commentary in the game. Um, they brought all brand new commentators uh, to Madden 17 um, in the form of Charles Davis and uh, Brandon Gaudin. Um, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, but uh, you know these guys are awesome. We did have an opportunity to meet them. Uh, it was very brief um, while we were at EA Play, um, but uh, these guys are you know awesome and they're even better um, in, with their commentary in the game. So um, you guys should be really excited about that. It's definitely a less robotic experience. Um, it really adds to the game. Um, you know, in a whole. So a couple different things that they kind of do with it. Like I said, you know, less robotic type feel, but, um, you know, they kind of, they implemented some things where, you know, say, especially in the form of CF, CFM, um, they added some things where they can kind of keep track of, you know, adding free agents, making some trades, you know, things of that nature. And they incorporate, incorporate that into the game. So say you pick up a guy, at a free agency, and he, you know he's having a big game. They'll they'll say that they'll mention, hey, you know they just picked this guy up at a free agency, you know he's having a huge game, you know so on and so forth. So they kind of incorporate those things a little bit more, um, which kind of adds that little bit extra to um, the game, especially the CFM mode. Um, another thing is you know Charles uh, will be kind of going off on some tangents here and there, talking about you know making some comparisons to his NFL career, you know things like that, um, and then Brandon kind of reels him back in real quick back to the game. Um, but they never really miss a beat. It's kind of, very, like I said, very consistent, very flow, um, flowy type feel. And the robotic stuff is, is gone with that. And the coolest part about it, um, from what I understand and what I gather, is these guys don't live too far from Orlando. So they're actually going to be coming throughout the year um, and updating the commentary throughout the Madden season. Um, so, like I said, we'll be able to have updated commentary. They'll add some things to the game, you know, change it up for us. And like I said, just give us a better overall experience for Madden 17. Um, next thing I want to talk about is the presentation a little bit. Not just about graphics necessarily, because um, honestly the graphics, they definitely did improve, but I don't think they improved a ton. You can definitely tell, at least I can, um, from playing Madden 17 for as much as I did and then coming back um, and going to Madden 16, you can definitely tell that there's a difference. But I don't think graphically it, it's a huge difference, um, but it's a lot of things like uh, just little stuff. Uh, the the uh, button icons um, are a little bit different, bigger, um, a little bit easier um, to identify. Um, so, you know, kind of when you're in the game, you can pick them up a lot easier um, while you're playing. And, you know, the atmosphere, the crowd um, definitely is a little, little different as well, um, which I think is something that they always try and, you know, update as much as they possibly can and, and make that seem more realistic. Um, and then also some of the coaches' reactions and things like that. Um, I know they've they added some things where the coaches might, you know, slam a clipboard on the ground on the sideline, you know, things like that. Um, but it's just little tweaks here and there that they did with the uh, um, gameplay as far as those things go presentation-wise um, to add it to the game. And then another cool thing um, that they did as well, I know a lot of times – when you're playing a game, there's some graphics that will pop up that you kind of you're you know, you're hitting there, hitting the A button, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Well, now they give you the opportunity to skip all that stuff. Um, so what you do is if you're on Xbox, you're just going to hold the A button, um, just hold it down. It tells you in the bottom right corner of the screen it says uh, pre hold A, um, and then what it'll do is it's got a little meter that goes around the letter A um, on that bottom right hand corner. Once that meter is full, it'll skip that. Um, graphic or whatever it is that it's going through and it'll get you right back to your game um which like i said is something that's pretty cool especially when you're you know playing a, a cpu opponent or something like that i know that those graphics kind of get you know drawn out and make that game go a little bit longer than you probably would like um so that's a cool thing about that um now the last thing i'm going to touch on real quick is i know dk uh talked about it a little bit he talked about um the kick meter. So I'm going to go into special teams a little bit more. So I know he explained the kick meter a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and reiterate it on, a, on it again. Um, but it's a whole different kick meter. It's not the right stick down uh, and then up. None of that stuff anymore. It, it's a, uh, it's more skillful 
You have to be better at it. Um, it's not an automatic field goal anymore. Um, so kind of what you have to do, like he spoke about before, is you got to, you know, one big thing that I really like is the kick meter, especially on all Madden, is you have the option before of turning it off or keeping it on. And then you have the whole kick meter. And then it eventually would go away after a couple of seconds. But you still kind of see where you needed to move the kick meter and set it up. And you're pretty much, like I said, guaranteed to make the field goal or, you know, have a good punt or whatever it may be. Now, like I said, that's changed. So you still have the kick meter and it actually stays there the whole time, but it's only a partial kick meter. It's only a little one. Um, and you don't have the option of just moving the, the meter wherever you'd like it to go and leaving it there. You actually have to hold um, whatever direction you want your kick to go. You have to hold it throughout your the entirety of your kick um, as well. And then, you know, obviously once again, you hit you use the A button to power your kick. You hit it to stop the power meter. And it comes back down and you have to get it into the accuracy meter as it comes back down so definitely a little bit different mechanic there um, it definitely makes it very interesting um, i missed a lot more field goals than i ever had before um, but once again it's just one of those things once you get used to it you'll you'll adapt to it in the game um, but the most uh or the coolest thing the biggest impact i think that they made is i know they talked about it for a lot is kind of making special teams a part of madden um, well madden 17 man you guys got it uh, special teams is not a joke anymore. It's super, super important. It can change the dynamic of a game, um, you know, and, and uh, in both punting and field goal kicking. Um, my entire Madden 16 uh, season this year, I've seen one block kick. It was a field goal. Um, and in the 10 hours that I played at EA Play, I saw two uh, total. So kind of imagine that. Like I said, only 10 hours of gameplay um, with Madden 17, two block kicks. Um, one of them... It was really cool. And like I said, the guys come off the corner. And now you can choose when you're doing your formation to either load up on the right, load up on the left, however you want to do it. And they'll kind of hit that corner just like they would in real life. And they'll kind of, you know, come tight on that corner and try and get, you know, behind the line and then dive and try and block that kick. Well, it's the same dynamic in the game. Um, it actually looks really cool. And then when they come around and they do block that kick, the ball, you know, he talked about the ball dynamics, DK, I'm referring to. He talked about the ball mechanics where the ball actually moves a lot more. It doesn't just kind of stay in one place whenever it's on the ground and people are trying to pick it up. So he blocks it. It goes backwards a little bit, you know, behind the kicker. And then one of the other defenders comes, scoops up the ball, and it runs it 70 yards the other way uh, for a touchdown. So although I was on the um, losing side of that battle, it was a very, very cool um, addition to the game. I thought it was awesome. Um, I definitely, like I said, I'd never really seen it before. Um, so it was really, really cool to see that they – like I said, they incorporated it. They made it happen for us. Um, and it's something you guys should be really, really excited about. Um, now, with that being said, I know if you guys watched our interview with Rex Dixon, he talked about it's super, super important to play the, the, the player yourself. Don't let the AI control. And from what I picked up, it's the same thing with these, with these kick blocks. Is if you let the computer do it, it's not going to say that they're not going to block the kick because I, I saw one myself. But you have a better opportunity of doing it by using um, the uh, the guy yourself. Now, one other thing that they did with that, to, so it's not something that's constantly happening with the kick meters. You can actually, when you're coming down for your accuracy, you can hold down the A button, which is your kick button, and you can hold it, and it'll keep the meter where it's at, and then you can kind of mess up the timing of the kick, just so that way somebody isn't sitting there and being able to time your kick um, super easily and get around that edge. Um, to come in and block your kick. So it's, once again, another just different thing that you, that they um, added to the game for us as well. Um, and then on punt, same thing. I know he talked about that a little bit, but um, kick meter is the same way. You have the three different options of your kick. You have your normal kick. You have your sky high kick. And then you also have your backspin kick. Um, the backspin kick works pretty well. Um, I wasn't able to, you know, nail one down very good as far as, uh, being able to pin anybody inside the five yard line, but a couple of the ones I did hit right inside the end zone, um, and then it popped, you know, back about five or six yards, um, you know. So if it, if I would have had, kept it in play, it would have been a great punt. Um, so I think that was something that was really really cool as well um, with that piece. Um, but um, that that's really it. I mean, not a ton of stuff as far as uh, you know the interactions between the you know DBs and wide receivers changed a whole lot. Um, but you know, like I said, DK covers all that stuff for you guys. I just wanted to cover a couple different aspects of the game, um, that I got to witness myself. And, uh, like I said, guys, please be excited for this game. You definitely should be, 
Um, I, I played as much as I possibly could, and I, I learned a lot of cool things. And I'm telling you, man, these guys are listening to what we have to say. Um, they really, really want to give us the best possible game, the most realistic game that we could ask for. Um, they're doing uh, they're doing great things. They're continuously improving. And, and uh, me personally, I love it. I know DK did as well. Um, so, guys, you know, if you have any other questions, maybe something I didn't cover that you'd like to know something about, um, and maybe DK didn't cover as well, please leave some comments in the comment section below. Um, and I would love to answer any questions you guys may have. Um, but I really, really appreciate it, guys. Once again, Project Fats out. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.